When it comes to a visible light laser, seeing the light is not always a good thing. What am I talking about? Well, we're going to talk about laser safety glasses for visible light lasers. So let's jump into this together and I'll explain more. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about visible light lasers such as the ortho here and laser safety glasses. Now, full disclaimer up front, I am not an optometrist, ophthalmologist, I'm not an expert on laser safety glasses, but I've done a lot of homework over the years in working with lasers to protect my eyes, and I'm going to share with you my thoughts and findings. Now, a lot of you out there complain, I ramble too much. I don't know, I make like five or seven minute videos, but a lot of people think it's too long. So if you're one of those people, I'm gonna make it simple. If you have a 450 nanometer laser, we're gonna take these two glasses, which you typically get or can buy on the cheap, and we're going to throw them away. They're junk. The link to these will be down below. Go buy them. Done deal. Now, if you want to know more, stick with me. All right. So the first thing we have to really look at is why is this dangerous? Why is laser light, and especially reflected visible light, laser light, dangerous to our eyes? Well, the first thing is laser light is coherent light. What do I mean by coherent light? It's monochromatic, it's one frequency. The laser diode here in this guy puts out a beam of 450 nanometer light, wavelength light. 450 is the wavelength of the light that you see coming out of this. Now the piece is all this light you're seeing here is considered white light. There's a whole bunch of different frequencies and colors ranging from maybe as you know as high as 340 nanometers to possibly about 700 nanometers and so that is non-coherent light so it does not have the same impact on the retina or the lens or the cornea of your eye that this guy does a coherent light so even if you're not looking at the beam you're just looking at the reflected light of a laser of this intensity can cause damage to your retina you need to have sufficient laser glasses to protect yourself. Now we'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute because it doesn't end with the coherent light or the same frequency light. Being monochromatic or of the same frequency means that the light travels in a culminated way for a longer distance. So in other words, the density of the light, because it is monochromatic, will travel much further at a higher density than chaotic white light is we're you know looking at here in this video this makes again visible light lasers very dangerous also because of the frequency of this it will pass through your lens into the retina of your eye or contact the retina of your eye causing potential damage especially with lengthy exposure even from reflections again very critical to wear safety glasses so as we've already talked about, this laser produces light that's monochromatic, so at a set frequency, which means it travels in a culminated way at a greater distance. And with that, it holds its intensity because of that culmination over a greater distance. So you could be even on the other side of the room, be watching this at a distance, and its effects will not be dimmed proportionally with distance because of that. So again, this is a risk. So even if you're standing right here is where the camera is watching this, or you're on the other side of the room, you run the same rough potential risk. So again, laser safety glasses are very important. Now, with that basics out of the way, what I wanna talk about is the glasses themselves. So with that out of the way of why laser light is dangerous, I wanna talk about the different frequencies of lasers and what that means to your eyes. Now, one of the pieces, I've got some infrared, uh, you know, like for a K40, eBay K40 laser glasses over here. I'm not gonna talk too much about that here other, word, other than just place it into context with the visible light laser. I will do a separate video on infrared lasers because they're vastly different than visible light. So with that being said, we have several different frequencies for visible light lasers. So again, the eye is pretty much will allow light from about 380 nanometers to about 1,400 nanometers to, to enter the eye at some level and pass through the retina. 
Now, again, this is a 450 nanometer laser that we have here. So it operates in the blue spectrum. Blue is a very energetic light. This light will pass all the way through the lens of your eye to your retina, burning your retina. Now, one of the pieces with this type of laser is it is within the frequency range of your blink reflex. So if the light becomes too bright too quick, you will blink. However, do not rely upon that as a safety measure because by the time you blink, the damage can already, already be done. This is why laser safety glasses, quality laser safety glasses are critical. So again, something to keep in mind. Now, other lasers which operate in roughly the 780 to 1400 nanometer range are much more dangerous because you cannot see the beam and with that you have no blink reflex and no built-in mechanism for your eye to block it. So in other words, the damage will be done before you can even know it. So again, wearing safety glasses at the start of a session before the laser is even activated is critical. So don't think, oh, once I started, I'll put the glasses on. The glasses need to be on. And also, one of the big things that goes for this is pets are affected, other people in the room are affected. As I've shared at the onset, I don't care if you're on the other side of the room, this is a culminated beam of, of uniform monochromatic light. On the other side of the room, you can be just as affected as standing here, basically. So again, operate this in a safe environment. So one of the things when I use this laser in my shop, I lock the shop doors over there so no one walks in while I'm using it that does not have laser eye protection on. Anybody in my shop, when this is on, is wearing laser eye protection. Big rule, follow it, save your eyes. Now, the other piece, when we start talking, and, I, and I, again, I'm just gonna briefly hit on it. So we have over here, this is a pair of safety glasses, laser safety glasses for uh, an infrared eBay K40 type laser. One of the things you'll notice that they're clear because again, with infrared lasers, one of the things, uh, obviously you're not filtering for color, you're filtering actually for absorption. And uh, infrared lasers up around the 11,000 or so nanometer wavelength, which is really, really long wavelength compared to this visible light guy. So think about this, this guy, the wavelength, it creates one wave in 450 nanometers, all right? It's 450 nanometers long. So for the infrared laser, it is about 11,000 nanometers long. It's huge compared to this, and that's why you can't see it because it's basically the transmission of heat. And so the acrylic in these glasses, as you can see, absorbs it. Whereas on the other side with visible light lasers, what we do is we need to filter the color, if you will. That's why you notice these glasses have different colors to them. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Now, when we talk visible light laser safety glasses, we talk a couple of different things. Frequency range, which is going to be determined by the color. You notice I have three colors here. The second thing is optical density. How much of the light of a certain color range will these filter out? Now, one of the things, this set of glasses here is a, a, basically a $40 set of glasses. This is a high quality pair of glasses. These other two pair came with the various lasers which I had purchased in the uh, past. Now, one of the things with these is again, they all work in the same basic frequency. So they'll, they'll cover this 450 nanometer uh, laser. When you're buying a pair of safety glasses, laser safety glasses, is it matches the frequency of your laser. You should not or cannot go just on color alone because the various colors and materials in the plastic are going to have an effect on the optical density at that frequency. And in this case, it's 450 nanometers. Now, again, these type glasses really right here, what they're meant for, typically sold for, is use with cosmetic or lower powered lasers. These typically, both of them here, if they reach uh, basically a plus four optical density is probably pretty high. What is optical density? Optical density works like dBs in, in, in you know, electronic terms where you multiply by 10. So four uh, in OD of four means you're reducing the optical density of the light that passes these lenses by 10,000. 
Now these over here, and I'll put a chart up in the corner. Now this has an optical density in this range of almost six. So four, six. Now we don't just increase by a little bit. So four here is 10,000. Six here is 1 million. So you can see there's a big reduction. And again, I have the graph up there and you'll see one of the things if you look at these cheaper $10 glasses, they don't have a chart like I'm putting up for this guy. So if you're buying glasses, you want to see the chart that matches the glasses and compare it to your laser. Very important. So again, these filter out 10,000, these filter out 1 million. What do you want to protect your eyes with? Well, my bet is this one. This is what I've gone with. Now, there's a lot of other advantages of going with a set of glasses like this. One is optical clarity. These are a lot clearer than these glasses. But again, you want to make sure that your glasses match the frequency of your laser and also have an optical density, preferably around six. Now, a lot of you may say, you know, all kinds of stuff. Four is good enough. And if it's good enough for you, you're a big person, hopefully, and you make your own decisions. For me, four is not good enough. For me, these are not quality. These are not worth risking my eyes or my family's eyes, etc. You know, spend the money, get these. I will link to these below if you want to go get other ones like this. Again, I highly suggest seeing a chart of the optical density before buying and ensuring that it matches your laser plus has the correct optical density. So with that, I hope I've shared with you some, some good knowledge about selecting laser glasses for visible light lasers and the safety and importance of this. So if you got something constructive to add, hit me up in the comments below. I'm always interested to learn from you guys. Again, I'm not an expert at laser safety glasses. I've done research over the years to protect my own eyes and felt it important to share it with you guys. So with that, Sway Shops in the upper corner, subscribe down below, and we'll catch you guys in the next video where we talk about something else cool, hopefully with this guy, because I've been having a lot of fun with it. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.